first I'm going to cut this sea bream. Ooh. Nice sound. Sounds amazing. Mm. It's something that Tokuwa Yasu really like to eat. Mm. Yeah. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. It's me, Harumi, and this is my husband, Shogo. Hi, guys! <laughs> and we have Tomoko and Kazu. Alright! Yay! All four of us! Thank you so much, guys! <laughs> so, Harumi was super, super nervous about the first dreams, but she said it because this is her video series. We named it Food Through Time. Yay! So, Harumi wanted to advance basically your cooking. Skills. Yeah, she is definitely not a professional in cooking at no. all. So I don't, I don't want you to expect that in this video mm. series, by the way. But we thought just cooking the um, typical Japanese foods, like I don't know what it is, like the dashimaki or oyakodon mm. or stuff like that, would be would it be that much fun? Because of course this is a video series in our channel. I thought we could kind of connect it to Japanese history. So through this Food Through Time series, we're actually going to be cooking foods that are related to historical figures and also time periods. And today, for our first video, we're actually going to be making the sea bream tempura mm. that killed Tokugawa Yes. Yeah. <laughs> A very good start, don't you think? <laughs> awesome. So we actually have this sea bream here. Ready? Ooh. So Harumi has practiced making the tempura with this, so we're going to be showing you how we make the sea bream tempura back in the time when Tokugawa Ieyasu was alive. So honey, are you ready? How are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous? <laughs> <laughs> She's always nervous. <laughs> yeah, but you did enough practicing, so I'm pretty sure mm, it'll be fine. I made yeah. two times. Yeah, practice two times mm. already, so let's jump right into it. Yep. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on traveling Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learn as lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. Let's get into it. Alright, so Adumi, let's get started. Yay! You put on your kapogi there. Mm. Mm. Apron. That's right. Mm. And what are you gonna start from doing? First, I'm going to cut this sea bream. Mm. Awesome. Into some pieces. It looks already delicious. No, <laughs> it's more sashimi, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Prepare the soy sauce. <laughs> soy sauce. Wasabi. No tempura. <laughs> Not today, not today. Not today. Awesome. So you're going to be cutting that up first. Mm. Okay. Nice. And I really love the kitchen knife, by the way. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we introduced it in our Kyoto Hidden Gem series. Mm. And Tomoko and Arumi has been using it, and it's amazing. Super sharp? Super, super, super sharp. sharp. Yeah, you can see it now, too. That was really yeah, that easy. Was really smooth cuts. Very yeah. really smooth cuts there. Okay, done. <laughs> Done with the cutting. <laughs> Done with the cutting. Okay. And Perfect. Some... Seasoning it with salt next. Yeah, rock, rock salt. salt. Yeah. I really like to use rock salt because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the flavor, I think it's more rich. Rich, mm -hmm. more rich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I completely agree. I personally like the texture because it's crunchy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true, that's true. Mm -hmm. Kind of blend that in. Blend a little bit. There we go. Hey. Perfect. Perfect. So that's that's the seasoning. That's all you do, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. The tempura today would be a little bit more different at this point. Um, or mm. usually it's just salt at this point. If you like mm -hmm. some pepper. Mm, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Salt perfect. and pepper. But today we'll do it the old-fashioned way on purpose. Yeah. So. Then put. The sea bream aside mm -hmm, into first, the bowl there. into the bowl. Nice. So that's all you need, just the sea bream. Yeah. Just the sea bream. You cut it and you have salt on it and it's in. <laughs> so I'm going to make the koromo. Mm, that's mm. right. With anpaman spoon. <laughs> oh, very cute. <laughs> so I guess the koromo is like the main part of the tempura. Mm. Mm. How do you say it in English? Oh. Koromo. Well, I'm guessing from the kanji, it's. Clothing? Clothing. Clothing of them for Clothing. Clothing. <laughs> Clothing. Looks like Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. And mm -hmm. three tablespoons of water. And some water too. Two. And this is again very simple. Mm. Three. That's three spoons. And mix it. 
And that's it. That's it. <laughs> right, right. Just flour and water. Mm. Yeah. So we were saying that the modern tempura mm. would be much more complicated, right? With mm. all the ingredients and procedures. A little like bit. That. Mm. We usually put potato starch, mm -hmm. mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, mm. yeah. But uh, because this is uh, during the uh, single, uh, probably the Edo period. Edo period, yeah. This mm -hmm. is during the Edo period, so it's much more simple. <laughs> there we go. It's done. Okay. Perfect. And maybe some salt. Okay. Cut it a bit. Because that's the only seasoning you have. Mm. So. <laughs> There's only four ingredients. <laughs> so far. <laughs> sea bream, rock salt, flour, and water. Yeah, that's <laughs> it, that's it. Which means this is really good though. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. really easy for anyone to try out. Yeah. So. Okay, so I'm going to deep fry the sea bream. Yeah, yes, that's right. The pot is ready. We have yeah. the oil in it. Yep, and let's turn on the fire. Ding. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Got just a little bit. Mm. And then check the temperature. Mm. You use your chopsticks to do that, right? Mm. How do you determine what's good? Like, what's the temperature? If you put the chopsticks in, there's a bubble. Bubbles that come bubbles out from that the come chopsticks? Out. Oh, mm -hmm. from the chopsticks. Yeah, from the chopsticks. Mm -hmm. Many bubbles is good. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You get a lot of bubbles. Uh, uh, uh. That's good. That so. means, yeah, the temperature is ready. Looks okay? Looks okay. Perfect. Okay. So? I'll put this sea bream into the flour first. Mm -hmm. Alright. This is to maintain the koromo on the sea bream. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't peel off easily. Mm -hmm. right? oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then koromo to get. Go ahead. Ooh. Ooh. Nice sound. Sounds amazing. Bubbles, oh, it's so appetizing. Mm. Definitely. Ooh. I can already feel my mouth watering. Yeah, mm. me too. The smell is delicious. Take a look at it. Yeah. And I heard the sound is changing. Changing. So. Oh. Wow. Oh, that was delicious. Perfect. Amazing. Yay. Oh wow. Keep frying. on frying. Mm. Keep on going. Keep on going. These small two pieces. <laughs> yeah, it was small. Mm. Cute tempura there. Cute tempura. Mm. Looks good at the sign too? Mm. Perfect. And the tiny ones are going to be coming out. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Looks nice. Okay, Perfect, it's all done! It's all done. <laughs> awesome! So that's it, right? That's it! <laughs> that was very, very simple. Mm. Perfect. Alright, then I guess we're going to be putting that on the plate. Mm. And it's actually time for us to eat it already. Right? Yay! Yay! Yeah. Jis shook! Jis shook! <laughs> time for us to eat! Yay! So then everyone, it's completed! Yay! Thank you so much! Good job, Yay! Yay! Yeah. Thank you. And by the way, this is the sea bream tempura, but mm. next to it, this is actually something called hamanatto. Mm. Hamanatto. It's a kind of yakusen, medicinal food in English. Mm. It's something that Tokugawa Ieyasu really liked to eat. Mm. Yeah, Tokugawa Ieyasu was a health otaku, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was really um, concerned about what he eats. He actually lived till 75 years old. Mm. That's yeah. really long. Considering the exactly, age. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. The Why? average age during the Edo period was 30 years old. Oh so my god. god. Live a really long time. Twice. And this is something that he ate for his health, basically. Mm. And we have not tried this out before. 
I mean, I don't know what it's gonna taste like, but uh, it was on the recipe, so I yeah. thought we could buy it and try it out. But yeah. it looks delicious. It really? Is. <laughs> I'm uh, very uh, appetizing. Appetizing. <laughs> it looks very appetizing. I'm very excited to eat this. <laughs> Especially Harimi is not a big fan of natto in the first place. So. But I think the smell uh -huh. is really different from the original natto. Yeah, natto. yeah, exactly. It's exactly. sweet, isn't it? The smell. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Okay, so then what? Itadakimasu! Thank you so much, honey. Then I will love to uh, eat one first. Now, let me try out from the smaller ones here. Itadakimasu. <laughs> That's really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Mm. Usually, like, marum tempura mm. would have a lot of other ingredients in it, mm -hmm. right? But you really don't eat it at all. Mm -hmm. The salt and fish and the koromo outside Perfect. Ah, mm. thank Especially, you. I think that the utsuko you did mm. kind of like completely um, puts sticks together, mm. the koromo and the fish together. So it's not like it doesn't separate inside your mouth. Mm. Mm. So the taste completely blends inside your mouth. I mm. think it's really, really good, especially. So if you're thinking, like for example, if you want to make tempura and you think, oh, I can't get all these ingredients, you don't have to have mm. all those mm. things, I'm sure, because this is already really, really good. Mm. Yeah. Then let me try out the uh, the very uh, delicious looking uh, hamato here. Uh, it says on the package that you can um, put it in the ochazuke or uh, make okayu mm -hmm. and things like that. Or maybe like eat, eat it together when you uh, drink alcohol and mm -hmm. stuff like that. <laughs> Sake something. Mm. Never tried it out, so. Well, here goes nothing. Wow. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> um, first of all, this has 10,000 times more taste than I expected. Oh, really? Really? It's, the taste is super, super strong. Oh. oh my gosh. What taste is it? Is it natto? Like miso or soy sauce or...? I think... I think it's like really strong soy sauce taste. Oh really? Oh, oh that's strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soy sauce is already really strong. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> strong soy sauce is strong. Mm. Uh, no, it does not taste like regular natto at all. Mm. Wow. I can still feel the soy sauce inside my mouth. Maybe we need some rice. And I completely get why. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, I completely get that this will be a good um, something that you can eat together when you drink alcohol. Because yeah. uh, it has a strong taste, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, even though it's small. Mm. Mm. I think I had enough of hamato <laughs> throughout my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really surprising taste for sure. Surprising taste. <laughs> Yeah, that one looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, it looks really one. big. Yay! Thank you, man. It's too big. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pretty good? Really good. Yeah, good thing we practiced. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the filming, too. Yeah. Mm. I can feel the really rich fish taste mm -hmm. mm. with this recipe. Mm, mm. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Because it's really simple. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Not all the other ingredients doesn't bother the taste, the mm. natural taste of the fish, mm. so... Then... Do you, are, would you really be okay, though? It really does have a strong taste. I don't want you to get sick. Wanna once try it out? in a lifetime. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a once in a lifetime. Go ahead, try it out. It does not taste like natto, though. That's one thing I can I show hate you. natto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right so it away. does not taste like that. Mm, no, I can't not. eat natto, but it's different, right? You're completely different now. Okay. Itadakimasu. <laughs> Some maybe, hesitation. Maybe this one. Oh. Are you ready for it? Oh. Mm. It does have a really strong taste, though, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See? See? <laughs> Yeah, the scent that goes through your nose and everything is so strong. I like it. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good news. All right, so then, please. Oh, well, you know, okay, okay, you can have all of it. Then. It's a little bit, well, I have to be a good husband. Right now, so you can have it. Then you can all have all the rest of the time. Ideal so husband. <laughs> Giving away everything he doesn't want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really glad you said it's good though, yeah. if you like it. Before eating, mm -hmm. when I smell this, I feel yeah. like it's really 
similar to Chinese pickles oh, okay. Okay. that okay. I like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the taste is the same. Like oh, really? really, really mm -hmm. similar to Chinese pickles. Mm -hmm. So okay. I'm kind of really familiar with this taste. Oh, okay, that's oh, great. That's, that's a good, great. good thing. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yeah. Amazing. Mm. Then we actually want Kasa and Tomoko to try this out too, guys. Yay. Yeah. So go here ahead. you go. There's actually exactly two more of the sea beer tempura left. Mm -hmm. So how about you go from the sea beer tempura first? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go so for it. So I try big one. Yay. Yeah, go ahead. Yay. Oh, there's actually one more. Mm -hmm. Tiny I'll one. I'll go for the big one. Smallest one there. Go for the big one. Go for the big one, yeah. Yeah. Life's amazing. Itadakimasu. It's really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm. Simple is better, I guess. Mm, mm. I would definitely say so, mm, yeah. Mm. yeah. It's mm. very soft. Mm. Oh, that's right, that's mm. right. It's fluffy, yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. You completely understand, you know, during the Edo period, tempura was one of the really popular dishes mm. um, sold on street vendors and such, mm. but it was kind of like a snack, they say. Mm. Yeah, we can kind of understand that, how it's e really easy to eat. So. Mm. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, but guys, the uh, main excitement is yet to come. <laughs> You have the hamanatto for me too. <laughs> yeah, seriously, they try it out for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I try the hamanatto for me. So I try hamanatto. Yes. What? <laughs> Such a small beans. Yeah. It has strong taste. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you get oh, what I'm saying? Wow. See? Yeah. See? See? It's oh. like, oh, oh my gosh, kind of thing, right? <laughs> oh, the edge of my. Faces. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I'm serious. Mm. I think it's not beans, not natto. It's it, like a bowl like? of so soy sauce. Mm. Yeah, it's like it's like a soy bowl sauce. Of soy sauce. <laughs> it's like a round shaped soy sauce thing. No, yeah. but um, the texture is mm -hmm. actually like really um soft. Yeah, yeah, it's mm. like it's definitely Soft a bean. Yeah. It is a bean. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you kind of guess that it is a piece of soy sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like a solid piece of soy sauce. Yeah. Wow, that know is a really good thing. How to go, yes, enjoyed this. Maybe like a few drops like a day or something. Maybe, but... maybe, yeah. Mm. But it's a little bit sweet, so I like it. Oh, really? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I, I like the taste too. Really? Mm. Okay, okay. Maybe I'll go with another of one. Of course. <laughs> Guys, of course I love this too. <laughs> I mean, I respect Tokugawa Yes and the Hamanatto. I mean, the people making it, Shizuoka Prefecture. Thank you so much for this delicious meal. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, but then, uh, there's one more piece of sea bream, so maybe. Thank you, you so can... much for watching this video. Yeah, but it seriously, it has a really strong taste. It is really strong. I think, really strong. I think um, it will probably clearly divide the people who do like it and don't like mm. it. You know? Just like the regular amount though, yeah. Mm. I bought it on yeah. Amazon, so... On Amazon? Mm, I think maybe you can buy on Amazon too. Mm. Maybe, maybe, yeah. yeah. Mm. If it's possible, maybe you can uh, put the URL mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. in the, the description box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, we'll do that. Yeah. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Good job, Adumi. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Adumi. You are too kind to me. Good We're job. all very nice <laughs> So guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. We uh, were having a lot of trouble getting this ready and everything and filming and such. <laughs> I hope it looked okay in the video. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll keep on uh, gaining more experience mm. with the filming, with the cooking and everything. We'll try to get better. If there's anything you noticed, um, if you're more experienced than cooking, please let us know in the comments. Please. Yes, uh, Harumi is still learning and she probably did make a lot of mistakes mm. in how to use the tools and such, but yeah. it'd be great if you can let us know in the comments. In our next video, we'll be making more uh, foods that are related to famous warlords and such, so I hope you can look forward to it. We have uh, Oda Nobunaga mm. and uh, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, mm. Ishida Mitsunari, Date Masamune, mm. all of these really famous people lined up, so I hope you can look forward to the second and third video, fourth video, fifth video, and this video series too. And our goal is to achieve 2 million subscribers by January 2023 on our main channel here, so it'd be great if you can help us out by subscribing. And likes and comments will always be welcomed as well. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Yay! Yay! Good job, <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye! 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 Bye. 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 Bye.